This question is worded in a very strange way. I don't really understand why they did this with this N thing. Um, it's really just confusing and, and I would ignore it because I understand the rest of the question and it's very straightforward because the SAT asks about this type of thing a lot. So they're talking about the number of solutions. In this case, they say no real solutions. And because this is a quadratic, we're going to have to use the idea of the discriminant. This is a formula that you need to memorize for the advanced stuff on the SAT. Basically, it is a part of the quadratic formula that tells us the number of solutions. So the formula for the discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. Again, you might recognize that. That's the part underneath the radical for your quadratic formula. Now, if we wanted no solutions, then b squared minus 4ac is going to have to be less than zero. And again, if you think back to the quadratic formula, it makes sense why, right? Because if it's underneath a radical and you took a negative number and put it in there, you can't take the square root of a negative number. That's bad. Your calculator won't let you. So that's why there are no solutions is basically this value would be negative. And we have all the components except one. The A is going to be the number in front of the X squared, so that's 1. The B is the number in front of the X, and that includes the sign in between. And then the C is just the C in this case. So B squared, uh, that would be negative 34 squared minus 4 times A is 1. C is unknown, and that's less than 0. So you can probably see now we only have one variable. We're going to be able to solve for C. So let's just go ahead and do that. So negative 34 squared. Uh, 34 squared is 1,156. This is minus 4c is less than 0. At that point, I would add 4c to both sides so that I don't have to worry about a negative. So 1,156 is less than 4c. Divide by 4. And we're going to get c is greater than, divide by 4, 289. Okay, so I'm gonna, let me rewrite that so it's a little clearer. C is greater than 289. So now let's go back to the actual question. The equation has no real solutions if C is greater than N. Well, okay, C is greater than N. So it kind of seems like the N is the 289. What is the least possible value of N? Well, don't let the least possible value part kind of mess with you it's just n is two, uh, 289. If it were bigger, it would still kind of work, but like it, we, we want to kind of find the cutoff point and that's the cutoff point. We solve for it. So 289 is the answer here. Um, this is a great example of how the SAT sometimes asks for things very, that are very common uh, in very uncommon ways. And, and it's just meant to confuse you. I don't really get what they were going for with this wording. It, it, there's, it seems to have no purpose other than to make you doubt yourself. So the advice that I follow my own self when I'm taking uh, tests is if you know a little bit about what to do, you probably know everything you need to do. So when this, in this case, when I saw that the topic was this number of solutions for a quadratic, I've been studying for the SAT for a long time. I know that that has to do with the discriminant. I just went down that path. I figured, you know what, this N thing is weird, but I'll worry about it later. It, it, I know what to do for now. I'm not going to let the N piece stop me from starting. Okay, and that's a very good idea on the SAT is you don't need to know step five before you've done step one. If you know step one, do it. It's probably going to tell you something about step two and step three. And so it's okay to kind of stumble your way to the answer. You don't always need to have a perfect plan. Some of you really like to approach math in that way where you kind of know how you're going to get to the answer right at the start, but you have to let go of that. That will not work. You don't, do not have the time to do that. You just got to be able to start something. Odds are good. You'll find your way to the answer in some way.